Ramblin' Bob here again. So I've got another message. Yes, that's two in a day now for changes, okay? So I was trying to help out, uh, I believe his name was like Legal Beagle or something like that. He's got a little puppy dog. It's so, it's so cute. Okay, so I, um, I was trying to help him uh, figure out something with the power station, the E2000 LFP. And I went to the website like he told me to, and nothing was different. Well, the, my, our website finally updated, or their website. Uh, on, on, you know, my when I'm looking at it, it finally updated. And um, I believe that they changed the E2000 LFP. So we're going to take a look at it again and see, do you guys like it or you dislike it? Let's take a look. So um, I thought that they had sent him a European version because they always have those, you know, those three little nubby knobs that they always have over in the UK. Well, check this out, guys. This is a, a brand new version, I guess. Um, like I said, I'm just seeing this now. And uh, f thank you for the, the update. I had no idea that they even had this out. Must have just been uh, updated on the website today or released very recently. But uh, I've never seen this before, guys. So you have the same two ports and the same top port. But now you only have four AC120s. And then I believe this is an AC120 um, uh, at 30 amps, like an RV uh, port. And then you have the, the, the looks all the same over here. Uh, but guys, is this a new version of the E2000 LFP that's no one's seen before? So who knows? Um, let's look at it here a little bit bigger here so we can kind of get a closer look. Well, that's a good picture. Good job, background. Look at these guys. Okay, so here you got uh, 30 amps at 125 volts. Yeah, so uh, about 120. But uh, wowie zowie. But now notice, guys, it says 32 to 95, 600 watts max. That's what it was uh, before. That's uh, 600 and that's 600. Uh, we run 800 on this one and 800 on this one. When it's called over paneling and that way we can get the 1200 watt full power into this thing and then we never use this one guys this is like a, a backup plan uh, the screen looks the same the AC and DC buttons look the same I guess uh, everything else looks the same guys but wow is that different what do you guys think that's a very very different uh, uh, use that I, I kind of got used to liking and enjoying the six uh, AC uh, ports on the E2000 LFP. Now we have the E1500 LFP and that only has four of these and we kind of, oh no, wait a minute. No, I'm sorry, it only has three of those. So we kind of run out of ports pretty quick. So at least they have four, but I, I kind of like the older version, um, this one. This is the one that we have, and you notice that it has the, the six ports. I, we like that. Like We don't really need anything that, that draws out uh, this kind of power, but Maybe that's a really good thing to have. Some people might like it. Some people dislike it. Let me know in the comments what you guys think of this upgrade or downgrade, if you will, uh, to the E2000 LFP. Now, I don't know if that's what they're going to be shipping all the time. I would, uh, before you place an order, guys, uh, contact Pecron and to, to verify what version you're going to be getting, either this version with the, uh, uh, the, the 30 amp out or the original one. Now, maybe they're going to discontinue this version, and it's only going to be um, this version, which is uh, the, the new one, question mark? I, we don't know, but uh, thanks to our Scriber family, once again, they're coming through in flying colors. They're actually bringing this information because nobody can watch every single power station in the world. Uh, I, I wish you could, but uh, boy, they changed so quick, guys. Yeah, see, that's still the same one that we have. Um, the cart is very good for if you have uh, the system, but if you put one or two batteries on there, the cart gets a little bit uh, wobbly and bendable. So I don't think they plan on having it with that many. I think that, that cart was originally made for the E3000, which is the old lithium ion version uh, before they went to the uh, lithium iron phosphate batteries. So I, I, maybe they just kind of adapted that to the new one. But yeah, guys, this, this could be a game changer for some people. Uh, that way you have direct... Uh, connection to an RV through that port. So maybe, I, like I said, do you guys think it's an upgrade or a downgrade? Um, this is also uh, a, a, a waterproof cover kind of thing, like a water shed proof kind of water, uh, like, a, like a raincoat even. We got this with ours. I guess a lot of people have not been getting this one uh, with their systems anymore. Uh, let me know also if you guys are still getting this little water thing uh, the, the little raincoat because all this information uh, even as you know goofy as it sounds this really helps someone make a decision if if uh, if that's the version they want or if they you know maybe somebody doesn't want the power station anymore because it has that 120 volt uh, I'm sorry the the 120 volt uh, 30 amp 
or be receptacle on the new ones uh, if, if this is a thing now according to one of the uh, scribers uh, uh, I, I think it was Legal Beagle. I, I can't remember the name. Um, but uh, they sent us a video uh, for, on their channel. And when we looked at it, we could not see this, guys. Like it, His video was so dark that I couldn't see it. So I assumed that he had the European version. Because that's very simply done. If you order, and if they have thousands of them in a warehouse, they might grab the wrong one and ship it to the wrong country. That happens, guys. It really does. Uh, if you ever do get a European one, uh, don't use it, guys. Don't use it because that's 220 volts, and that will damage your stuff. So uh, it, it has really weird plugs, so you'd know right away. Like It's got these little circles. Um, I don't know if I have a, 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 a picture. Let, let, let me look, guys. Give me a second here. Um, let me see here. The E2000. Let me show you what the European, uh, the EU version. Just so you can see what it looks like. Uh, let's see here. Uh, is this it? Uh, da, da, da. I'm looking for it, guys. I'm trying to find it here. Give me a second here, guys. Give me a second. Uh, okay, so here it is. This is it, this is it, and I'm going to put this over there, hopefully, and then you can see it. Okay, so this is the version that I thought he had because uh, he said he had a round circle plug that looks like an RB plug. And I didn't think they made one with an RB plug, but maybe this is brand new, guys. I, I, I don't. Maybe I would like that, maybe I don't. I, I don't think I would use it, but it would be nice to have the feature. But then, uh, again, the, you lose two of the AC ports. So, you know, it's a plus and a minus, I guess, depending on what your situation is. But this is the European version, guys. And in this version, they have, uh, let me see if I can get to it here, if the ports are open. Okay, there. See how it's got these little weird little circle ports? This is a European version. So these are 220 volts a piece on each port, which is very dangerous if you use it in this country because it's not designed, you know, for the 110 to 120 volts of the USA. But... Uh, I don't know if I have any... Let's see if we got any more... I wish I could get a close-up picture of this bad boy. Let me see here. Let me see here. Yeah, see, it's got the three. And that's what I... Cause his video was so dark that that's what I thought he had is, is the European version. Let me see if there's one with the ports open so you can see it. It's really weird looking inside. It's like a little, three little pins. Yeah, see, you can't really see it good. It's like little pinholes or something. Okay, well, you can't see it. But this is the version that I thought he had. Um, and it would be very simple because... Uh, you know, the, the boxes probably look the same when they ship them, except the pictures are different. And, you know, uh, the, the, the companies probably ship so many things that they, they you know, they, they could very easily make that mistake. If you ever get a European version by mistake, just contact Packer and let him know, hey, you sent me the wrong one. I'm supposed to get the U.S. version. That happens a lot when you buy electronics, guys. Sometimes, uh, well, not a lot, but uh, like I, I've, I've heard about it happen a lot in the past where people would, you know, receive the wrong version because around the world you have different versions. Like I, 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 half of uh, Japan is like one version and the other half is another version. It's it's uh, like, I think it's 110 on half Japan and then 220 on the other half. Well, that's a that's a very uh, a different approach to electricity. But I, I don't understand why they do that, but they must have their reasons. But, uh, yeah, so, guys, what do you think? I, I, I want, you know, uh, uh, good opinions, bad opinions. Do you think it's a positive? Do you think it's a negative? Uh, I think the only negative for us would be we lose two of the AC ports. However, you could bring out very, very strong um, power out of this thing at 30 amps for one device. So, it's it, it's a plus and a minus, guys. All right, let me know what you think. I wanted to make a video right away as soon as I, 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 I finally figured out what the heck is going on here. Like I said, I thought he got a European version. But uh, let me see if, let, real quick, let me see. Yep, see it changed on that. Oh, I suppose, oh, these are the same pictures. Okay, um, wait, let me check one thing before we go, guys. Sorry. Okay, currently, oh, here you go. Guys, look at this, look at this. Currently, there are two versions with different number of sockets now sending the version with the rv socket okay guys so here you go here's a, i did not see this um wow you know this stuff gets updated so quickly guys um so here it says um the uh usa version is 120 60 hertz only to usa and canada and the eu version is um let's see i i'm pretty sure that's the one i just looked at Yep, that's okay. So there you go. Um, wow. So guys, they have a new version of this power station, and uh, this is a huge update here. All right, guys, l please let me know what you think. Um, I, I don't see any other differences here. Biodirectional charge between okay, eight kilowatts. Everything's the same here, except the uh, the output there, which is a thirty amp. Uh, 
what have you there? See, I, I don't is accessory. I don't see the the, the raincoat thing, the cover. Um, here's the expansion battery. Okay, that's all the same. All right, guys, d l let me know what you think. Is it good? Is it bad? But if you want to see it, click on the link. You, you'll see in the description, and you can figure out if this version works better for you or if, if you can contact him, uh, 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 them, uh, Pecron, and let them know that, hey, you know, when is the other one available or can I order that now? But uh, maybe this will help somebody. All right, guys, well, ramble on. Be safe, and then let me know what you think about this new version of the E2000 LFP. Holy crap, Zilla. All right, bye, guys.